Hello, this is Jamie with Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy cute little button. So um, this is just yarn, and I made a pillow for a, I did a test pattern pillow for somebody recently, and on the back she had three large like wooden buttons, and I just thought it would be really cute to make my own, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'll put a picture up here in the corner of the pillow so you can see these are the buttons that I made. I made them a little bit bigger than this, but... Um, those are the buttons and I will show you how to make those. So you will need any kind of yarn. I'm using a size four, uh, but anything will work. And then you'll need two hooks and one we're just going to use the end of the hook to wrap the yarn around so it doesn't matter what size. You can also use a pen or a stick or something like that. And then you'll need whatever size hook you want for the buttons. Now for this size button, I used a three and a half millimeter hook. And for the buttons on the pillow that I showed you, I think I used like a, maybe an 8 millimeter hook because I wanted those to be larger. But it's up to you. Any size will work. Alright, so let's get our yarn. And we are going to wrap the yarn around the end of our hook or pen or whatever you have. Um, you want to do it tight enough that it stays together, but don't do it so tight that you can't pull it off. And we just go around the edge, I don't know, anywhere between like 14 and 16 times. Just wrap around. One, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'll do sixteen. And then you're going to pull it off. Sometimes it can get a little sticky here because this is a rubber handle. So a pen or something might work a little bit better, but all right, you're going to pull it off, but you want to make sure that you keep the hole there. We're going to put our hook through it. Okay, so pull that off. And you're going to insert your hook through the bottom of the hole and out through the top. So just make sure you're right in the middle of the hole. It feels a little messy, but it's okay. And then yarn over and pull through the circle. And then just chain one. Sorry about my allergies. I know my voice sounds funny. <laughs> All right. And then we're just going to go back through the middle of the circle, up through the top, and we're going to start single crocheting around. So you can do about... I don't know, you can really do as many times as you want. I usually do about 12 times. Uh, let's see how it how big it is when we get to the other side. So that's one. You just keep single crocheting around. Here's two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully you can see how that's coming out there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten might even be all right. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with ten here. Or right, let's... I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do 11. So just make sure you get all the way around. It could be anywhere between like 10 and 12. Or if you're doing a larger one, you might need to do more like 14, something like that. All right. So that's where we're at. You can kind of see the button is already taken shape. You're more than welcome to leave it like this if you'd like. But I like to close up the hole a little bit more. So what I do is I slip stitch to that very first single crochet. Slip stitch there. Might be a little bit tight pulling it through. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, I think I grabbed some more stuff underneath this actual stitch. There we go. Okay, slip stitch, chain one, and then we're just going to go back through and do the same thing. We're going to do a round of single crochets. And I do about the same amount. So I did 11, so I'll probably do about 11. One. Two, 
three, four, Six. It's getting tighter in here, so it's a little bit harder. Seven. Eight. Let's see. Might not even need to do eleven because it's pretty tight. We'll just do nine this round. It really doesn't matter exactly how many, it's just how tight you'd like the button. But that looks pretty good to me. So this is what the other side looks like. And then you'll just slip stitch again to the next stitch. And you have two choices here. You can either leave it as is. I like to leave it like this so that the button just looks like that. And then you can, when you're going to sew it on to something, you can just go through these stitches to sew it on. That's what I did for the pillow. I'll show you here. For the pillow, I just did like that and then sewed on the bottom part. Or if you'd like a larger bottom like this, if you want something more rounded, you could just go, what I did for this one is I did uh, single crochets around these actual stitches then and um, and then you'll have like more of a rounded bottom but either way you are finished after that and you could just tie off I just do a chain cut my yarn pull it through and then you have a little button so I hope this was helpful uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the um, comment section below if this was helpful uh, helpful <laughs> and um, if you haven't subscribed I'd love if you could subscribe and watch some of my other tutorials I have a lot of different pattern videos up and stitch videos and always more coming and I'll be doing um, some more uh, giveaways yarn giveaways and things like that too so thanks for stopping by I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a really great day thank you